So I'd like to invite you to come and stand in front of the communion table. I'd like to read for you a few lines from the poem by Archibald McLeish, The Young Dead Soldiers. The young dead soldiers do not speak. Nevertheless, they are heard in the still houses. Who has not heard them? They have a silence that speaks for them at night and when the clock counts. They say, we were young, we have died, remember us. They say, we have done what we could, but until it is finished, it is not done. They say, we have given our lives, but until it is finished, no one knows what our lives gain. They say, our deaths are not yours. They're not ours, they are yours. They will mean what you make of them. They shall not grow old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. Please stand.
Please be seated. Normally on Remembrance Sunday, we remember the men and women from the home countries who died in the First and Second World War and other conflicts. Men and women from England, Ireland, Scotland and Wales. And those of us who had the opportunity to visit Commonwealth graves in different countries. In one case, I regularly go to the Commonwealth grave in Suda Bay in Crete. And there we remember the Canadians, South Africans, New Zealanders, and Australians who died, particularly in the Battle of Crete in the Second World War. And we are also very aware of the role of the Indian Army during the Second World War against Japan and of course the Gurkhas in the campaign to drive the Imperial Japanese forces out of what is now Myanmar and was then Burma. But it's hardly mentioned at times about the African soldiers. And now thanks to the Imperial War Museum and the Commonwealth Ex-Service League, film footage of West African soldiers fighting in Burma has been retrieved and is shown regularly. Nigerians made up half of the 90,000 West African soldiers deployed to Southeast Asia after 1943 as part of the British Army. This was the 81st and the 82nd West African divisions. Isaac Fadiego from Nigeria served in what was then Burma. 